Gone Shin 4.7 in a nutshell. Welcome back, traveler. <laughs> first things first, let's just get the giant cat out of the bag. Yes, you heard it right here, folks. Yes, you are dreaming. Genji is actually getting new end game content. Finally, which is a sentence I would have never imagined myself saying ever. Wow, <laughs> it's called Imaginarium Cheddar. In a nutshell, it's like Spiral Beast, but you can only use three elements. For this first season, they're Pyro, Electro, and Animo. There's gonna be trial characters and also characters you can borrow from friends. So you better start adding those Genshin whales. There's also guest characters you can use that don't even fit the element requirement. I will wonder why Genshin just decided to drop ending content out of nowhere this upcoming patch. Oh, why could it be? Mm. Prepare your bots, travelers. Bring in a main team and an alternate team that subs for your main team. There's lots of stages, there's requirements. It also has a risk factor. Well, you can choose to take an event that either can be a buff or a debuff. Why do this content, you say? Well, you get primos. I mean, that's great. Who isn't a hoe for more primo? You get rewarded 1,900 total primo just for first clear and 620 per season, along with other mats. Also, primo gem reward in the spiral abyss is also increased. Ooh, hey, hey. hey would you look at that? You also acquire long-lasting buffs for the characters you use that will still carry over outside this challenge. Including Spal Abyss. You can also redeem special poses, which is kinda eh. Genshin, if you ask listening, please add custom traveler outfits or even just gliders in these cosmetic awards. Come on, I know you can do it. I, I believe in you. Overall, this content sounds like a huge win. I hope it's challenging and I hope Hoyo keeps the ball rolling and make more content like this. Prepare for a double chase whopper. Never thought we'd see the day of a resin increase. Though we just got a bigger bow of resin. The cap is increased from 160 to 200. But the region rate is still... Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about new characters. Chlorine is a catching pro max. She's catching but with the right to bear arms. But wait. Bears don't have arms. They do actually. Anyways, she's a 5 star electro sword slash pistol wielding DPS. She converts all healing to bond of life and having bond of life gives her a crit rate boost. Her burst looks too cool. But my poor Kuching is so washed. She's so washed. Mm. Situate the kid and funny melusine is a 5 star hydro bow user that also has a gun. So many guns. You get to just have a cola with blue archive or what? It's also hilarious how she just chucks a huge ass pill on that enemy. Time to take your best job. No, I don't want to no. Of course, she's a healer that heals more based on the bond of life of your other party members. She also adds damage to their skin. Skills. She can bubble up enemies with her skill and produce two new V-Balls. Man, Siju is such a nice nurse. She's healing those enemies so much that they're dying. Desert Boy Setos is a 4-star Electro Bow user. He has a level 2 charge attack like Ganyu. And when he uses his burst, he becomes an Electro Machine Gun with piercing shots. Hella cool. For Phase 1 banners, we have Chlorine and the Hot Nerd Dendro Daddy. Also featuring Setos. For Phase 2, we have the Psychotic Nurse with the best movie directors in the world. Moving on, a very important Major League Dane Sleep Quest is coming soon. Which heavily involves the Traveler and their twin. Some bomb ass lore. Genshin even released an anime music video for this. Damn, A for effort. Of course, there's also a story quest for both Chloroform and Sheshuan. And to be expected, new 5-star sword and bow. They probably work with the bundle flame mechanic. Okay, let's run through their events real quick. Event where you fight towers by commanding monsters. Warcraft 3, anyone? Event where you fight enemies but you have to meet the special requirements. Wow, Genshin. Two combat events. Feeling spicy this patch, aren't we? Shoot the balls with a cannon event. Of course, it's not a Genshin patch without balls. And in the last mini game, you collect coins while you make use of a specific character skill. Genshin is Cook it. They're definitely cooking something. Cause they surprise us with a small not that sneak peek with some power world looking at creatures. Some cool, I mean hot volcano areas. And yeah, it's crazy. Natlan's just around the corner. I'm hella hyped. But to be honest, it already feels like Natlan has arrived here because of how damn hot it is here in Southeast Asia. Like, god damn, it's so hot in here. I'm sweating boss right now while recording this. Anyway, that's all for next patch. I'm guaranteed Sijuin. She's my favorite cute jail medicine nurse ever. And I need her to give me my meds because listen with the new endgame in Genshin coming out, anything can happen at this point. Maybe Genshin finally adds a sex update too. 